Hello all. We thank God for this opportunity to meet again. As we look at dimensioning. Before we start, let's have a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for the gift of life, strength, and good health you've given us. Thank you for the opportunity to have this class. As we go through, I pray that you grant my audience the ability to fully understand all that I'm about to teach. We bless you for prayer answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Right, so we are going to look at dimensioning and dimensioning, I'll say that it's a very important subject in drawing because we know that in drawing, we are trying to present a real world object on a sheet of paper. And any object that we can touch, feel, has some size. And if you want to present it on paper, you need to use the appropriate sizing so that in case that object is to be produced with the sizing we've been able to produce on paper, anyone can just look at it, read, and be able to produce the real object. So we can describe dimensioning as um, a way of trying to determine or indicate the size of an object, a way of describing the shape of the object or the position of the object. So it's used to describe a drawing, in short, to describe a drawing. And in describing the drawing, we can describe it in terms of the size, the shape, and the position of the drawing. And as we express these details in terms of the numerical values, lines and symbols that uh, process is termed dimensioning we are going to look at the nomenclature of dimensioning there are certain terms in dimensioning that we need to note and that is what we are looking at over here and the first one here on this diagram we can see the arrow head all right we have what you call the arrow head so the arrow head is this one here and that is the arrow head and then we have the dimension line this is the dimension line all right so this dimension line, dimension line and it ends with the arrow head then um, the arrow head the main essence of it is to terminate the dimension or it help us to indicate where the dimension starts from and then where it ends all right then we have the text for the dimension, which is the dimension text. So here, to maybe in, th in terms of the numerical value, in terms of the length of that particular uh, dimension. Then uh, we also have the extension line. So this is the extension line. And then this area to this portion from here to up there is also extension line. So this line here extension line and you will note that the main drawing over here that we are trying to 
dimension of this object from here to that point to this point to that point and then here there and this arc and you see that the outline of that stands out it's very it's deep and it's clear then the other lines that we see like this one here is helping us to be able to indicate where we want to produce the dimension so we call that the extension line all right so this also an extension line then we also have um, this one is a leader shoulder which is this one here and that would be especially if you want to dimension say a circle a circle right you want to dimension a circle to indicate the diameter of a circle when you have first you should have an arrow from this point uh, a line and a line with arrow at both both ends from say one side of the circle to the other side with this extension then you have the leader line horizontal this way then we put the symbol phi so this symbol here anytime you see a symbol like this it represents the um, diameter of a circle then the text for the dimension or the numerical value you put that one after the symbol phi right then we have dimension line gap the dimension line gap is the that space between the dimension line and then the text right this is one form where we have the text so like you you discontinue the dimension line so you have this some break in the middle where we put the text and the distance between the dimension line and the text is the gap and then we have um, extension line offset extension line offset that is that distance between the object we are dimensioning that is the object line and then the dimension line there should be some small offset between the object line and the dimension line it shouldn't be part of it, it shouldn't the line should not the dimension line should not touch the object if it touches it it may bring confusion so usually there is that small gap and we call that the extension line offset then um, if we want to dimension angles right angular dimension line this is what we use so for instance we have some chamfer here some slanted edge over here so to dimension this edge in terms of the angle we have this extension line from here and then another one from here and you see that this one here is collinear with the slanted edge we want to uh, dimension so and there is that extension line offset to there that small gap is there then we have this arc right so this arc here with arrow at both ends and then we have the angle inside there like that so if you want to dimension the angle we use the angular dimension line arc as represented here then um, if you want to indicate the center line for a circle a center line for a circle like this small circle here um, first you need to have a cross in the middle or at the center these two short lines which intersect at the center of the circle and then we call that the center dash then we also have center line space so that center line space between that short dash in the middle and then this line here the center line there should be some small gap there which is the space then the center line should extend a little bit out of the circle that we want to 
uh, indicate the center line all right so it should go a little bit out of it and that is called the center line offset the center line offset here these are not dimension line but any time that you draw a circle in drawing you need to indicate the center line all right thank you all right so let's uh, continue we are going to look at some um, general rules in dimensioning there are certain um, accepted way of dimensioning which we need to adopt so the first rule we are looking at here is dimension lines are to be drawn dimension line are to be drawn maintaining a gap of 10 millimeters from the object line and a gap of 10 millimeters between adjacent dimension lines all right so let's look at this diagram here in this diagram we want to dimension the length of this object say from this point up to that point and to do that we have to first of all produce our dimension line so we have the dimension line from here to here and then from there to there um, there should be some gap here which is not showing but there have to be some gap so if you are drawing the dimension line always make sure that there is a gap between the dimension line and the object line all right so we want to dimension from this to that point and the distance is say 35 millimeters so what you do is you first draw this dimension line here and draw that one there and before you sorry do you draw the extension line these are the extension lines all right so before you draw the dimension line you have to make sure that the distance from the object line to where the extension the dimension line is the distance from the object line to where the dimension line is is 10 millimeters there should be that gap of 10 millimeters all right then you have that small uh, extension at the end there then also let's look at this one if in this case you want to have multiple dimensions so multiple dimensions here there is this one here from this object line to the edge here is 10 millimeters from this edge to this one here is 20 millimeters from here to the end the total is 30 millimeters so if you are to dimension it like this you make sure that the first one the distance from the object line that is this side to where the dimension line is is 10 millimeters then the other dimension line that will follow like this adjacent dimension lines so you have this one 10 the distance between this one and the next one should also be 10 millimeters and the distance from the next one to the next dimension line should also be 10 millimeters that is the first rule then the second rule dimension line should not cross extension lines so we have in this case um, we want to dimension this uh, line here all right we want to dimension the length of this the correct way to do it is what we have here so we have this one that one extension lines and then the dimension lines and so we put the length or the numerical value for that dimension say 15 millimeters we put that over here and when we finished when we finish that we have we finish that we have the value placed on it say 15 like what we have here but if you do it like this this is wrong because um, here we want the length of this say this line here or this rectangle we want the length of it and it starts from 
this extension line to that extension line the arrow head should end exactly on the extension line it should not go beyond if it goes beyond it like this one and that one it has no meaning because this doesn't show the uh, the, the extent where we want to pick our dimensions from or it doesn't show clearly what we are trying to dimension all right so the arrowhead terminates the dimension but in this case there is no reference point here no reference point it has just gone out of the extension lines but the proper way of doing it is to make sure that it ends directly on the uh, extension line Route 3, all the information should be written horizontally. All information on the dimension line should be written horizontally. So here we have, um, here we have, um, say, we have this circle here to be dimensioned and to dimension this circle first of all we have this um, arrow line in the middle so pointing from one side of the circle to the other side I will provide this extension then you uh, extend it horizontally like this then on it we put the diameter for this circle so the diameter here we have the sign 5 representing the diameter then 10 10 is the diameter the numerical value of the diameter and then we have 15 deep and what this means is that there is a circle or a hole in this particular object um, that is having a diameter of 10 millimeters and then um, it's having a diameter of 10 millimeters then and it is that hole is 15 millimeters deep all right so it has gone into object 15 millimeters that's the meaning of this the incorrect way of doing it is maybe do it like this or any other angle it shouldn't be vertical it shouldn't be inclined at any other angle the right things the information of the dimension should be written horizontally not vertically or inclined so this one here is incorrect a given dimension should be indicated only once it should not be repeated at another place or any other place so let's look at this one for instance here we have um, two views of one object all right so we have an object like t yeah. so in three dimensional objects in the form of a t like what we have here and if we are looking at it from say the front view this is how it looks like if you look at it from the side view it looks like this but if we want to dimension um, we don't need to uh, dimension this one and then that one we can dimension one of them but not the two so here for instance we want the distance from here to this point the same as the distance from that point to that point because this one here is a projection from this all right so the distance from here to here is the same as from here to there and if we dimension it that from here to here is 15 we don't have to come to this side and also put 15 here especially if it is a projection from this right this one is another view of this particular one so we do not have to repeat the dimension we have put here on this one again at the same time at this other side we do not have to repeat the distance from here all right this edge to the edge here 10 millimeter we do not have to come and repeat it at the other side too and put 10 
so we can either put this one only so we put only this one here or only this one but the two together is not appropriate rule number five rule number five the overall dimensions should be placed outside the smaller dimension so in this case we have the dimension here I want to dimension this object here there are some other features of it that we may want to dimension all right so the overall dimension that is the largest dimension the overall dimension of the object from this end to that end in this case say 30 millimeters and then there are other smaller features that we may want to dimension like the distance from here to here from here to there and from here to that point we have to make sure that the overall dimension is outside this other one all right so that the dimensions line uh, extension lines will not be crossing like we have here this is incorrect so here uh, the person tried to put the um, overall dimension below all right the other dimensions that should appear on it so here you see that this smaller one dimension from here to that which is 10 millimeters it is above the overall dimension and it makes the work it doesn't make the work neat because you see that the dimension line here is crossing the extension line for the 10 millimeter dimension but the correct way of doing it is this one and that is not correct the larger dimensions should be placed outside the smaller ones such that the extension lines do not cross the dimension lines the larger dimensions should be placed outside the smaller dimension such that the extension lines do not cross the dimension lines so here again this one is correct these are the smaller dimensions right and these are the this one is the larger dimension and the larger dimension should be placed outside the smaller ones so that the dimension line will not cross the extension lines of the smaller one and that will give us uh, what we have here but if you do it like this where we have the larger dimension like 30 millimeters is somewhere there the smaller one is there and then you want to dimension this here extension and has gone across the dimension line of the larger one the 30 millimeters that is wrong it's not the appropriate way of doing it rule number seven no dimensions other than those that are necessary need to be given so if there are dimensions there which are not necessary you do not have to indicate it on the dimension all right on the object so let's look at this for instance here this object is having an overall dimension of um, 100 say 100 millimeters all right and the distance from this edge to the center of this hole if we want to locate the hole is 25 millimeters we have indicated that, that clearly the distance from this hole here the center of it to the next hole is 50 millimeters it has to be indicated clearly because we know the length 100 millimeters which is overall um, uh, dimension and then we also know this one and then that one this one will come out automatically we don't need to indicate it there so anyone who looks at the drawing even without this will know that this is 25 because the person will just subtract 50 plus uh, 25 from 100 so we have 75 100 minus 75 will give us 25 so this one will just come out and it's very obvious so there's no need putting this one down here it is not necessary to indicate it all right then the, let's look at this other example here so in this particular one we have the distance from the overall distance or length from that point to that point to be 30 millimeters 
then from here to here is 10 and then from that point to that it's also 10 there is no need bringing this one here if you put it that it's like you have over dimension there's no need and it's because it's very obvious uh, you can easily obtain this by adding this to and subtracting the sum from the overall dimension that will give you the distance from that point to that point which will be 10 so there's no need bringing this 10 that makes it uh, inappropriate so it's not correct all right rule number eight always indicate the diameter of a circle not its radius the symbol this is used before the dimension always indicate the diameter of the circle not its radius so here we have um, a circle here and you want to indicate the size of this circle you you don't have to put the radius of the circle put the diameter this is a complete circle if it is an arc that one you may put the diameter but for a circle you put the uh, if it is an arc you can put the radius but for a circle you put the diameter all right in the diameter you use the symbol phi so when you use this symbol then you put the the value for the dimension after you have put the symbol right so you first of all you have an arrow a, a, a line with arrow at two arrows or arrows at both ends like this from one side of the circle to the other then you have that extension line like this then you put the diameter on it so we have the symbol first and then 15 so this is telling you that this is a circle with diameter of 15 units this is not correct way of dimension in a circle you can't put it that way like this or just do it like that and put the radius that that does that is not a correct way of doing it the radius the radius of an arc should always be indicated with the abbreviation r placed before the dimension so the radius of an arc this one here is an arc all right and always um, use the abbreviation r and that r come before the dimension or the numerical value of the dimension so first we have this arc to dimension it you have this arrow line here with this extension then we we'll put r5 so this tells us that this is an arc with radius five units all right this is not correct this is not a circle so we cannot use the diameter symbol and put five here it's wrong this is an incorrect way of doing it this is the appropriate way rule 11 drawing an arrowhead terminates dimension lines drawing an arrowhead terminates dimension lines and as I mentioned earlier is the arrowhead that determined the starting point and then the end of the dimension line all right and there are different arrowheads we have the open arrowhead like this one we have the closed arrowhead like that and then we have the closed and filled arrowhead so it's closed and filled that is like this so any of these may be adopted in dimensioning you may adopt any of this when doing dimensioning thank you very much um, we'll continue in our next lecture
we'll look at tolerance and um, we'll look at fit we'll look at limits until then see you later thank you